All right, welcome back across the U.S. Record high inflation is hiking prices in all areas of our lives, and that includes caring for our pets. In times like these, expenses add up, but there are savings as well. So joining us today is Tema Martin with Best Friends Animal Society, and she joins us now to talk about just how important saving on pet care can be. But before we get started on that, we got to talk about that little guy there. Tell us a little bit about Blue, right? So Blue is an adorable puppy, probably about three or four months old, and he had been adopted, and then he ended up back at our center just today because the older dog, the existing dog in the home, did not like his puppy antics, apparently. So they were afraid that the little guy was going to get hurt, so they brought him back. Oh, so heartbreaking to see, especially with how adorable Blue is. We want to talk a little bit about inflation, especially for pet owners right now. What can we do to address this? Well, it turns out that pet food alone, um, a research firm did some, uh, in, did a study and found that pet food has gone up 12 percent since 2020. So it is true everything is costing more and uh, some pet owners who are looking at how to, you know, make ends meet and, and take care of their families and their pets unfortunately might have to consider giving pets up if they can't feed them. So we really wanted to talk about ways that people can save money on pet food, for, for example, you can sign up for auto ship programs, you can sign up for uh, text alerts and email alerts from different companies that can do, um, you know, every time there's a sale or a discount and take advantage of those. When there is a sale, stock up on the things that you need so that you have them ready and you don't have to pay full price for things. I've definitely done the stocking up on mm -hmm. pet food, and, and you're right, it really has gone up over the last year. Is there any expiration on dog food as far as uh, how much you should stock up on if you do see a sale? Yeah, you know, they do have expiration dates on them, but in generally if the food is kept dry and, and you know, it, it can last for quite a while. I mean, I wouldn't buy a year's worth at a time, but definitely, you know, get a few bags at a time and know that by the time you run out of that, there'll probably be another discount for you. So just keep an eye on those and take advantage of them. Has anyone looked at switching up their brands? I mean, is that recommended or do you need to talk to a vet first if you find one that might fit your budget a little better? Whatever the brands are that you feed, it's a good idea to see what's in them and then find something comparable. And if you do switch, do it gradually. So get the new bag of food and mix it with the old bag so you're not switching very rapidly because that can cause them to have an upset stomach. But it can be done that, that you can switch. So let's talk a little bit about vaccines and procedures like spaying and neutering. Mm -hmm. What are your options on saving money on those? Well, a lot of shelters and uh, clinics do shot clinics where mm -hmm. it's just specifically rabies shots or just specifically distemper shots and so keep you know follow your local shelters on social media and see what events they're having where they might just offer you know discounted vaccines there are high volume spay neuter clinics in our area as well as uh, clinics that are affiliated with shelters that do those procedures for a fraction of what you might pay at a private vet so again, follow on social media, see when they're doing discounts and you know, call those, those high volume clinics because that's all they do generally. Uh, sometimes they do vaccines and dentals as well, but uh, mostly it's just spaying and neutering. All right, well, that's all the time we have. So thank you so much, Tama Martin, for joining us. We have more information on their website right there. That's bestfriends.org, has information on resources if you're struggling to take care of your pet. Thank you so much for joining us, and bless you, Blue. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney.